Oh my god, it hurts. Oh my god. I'm on my way. Let me see the net. The YouTube video we just watched, the guy said it was painless on the way out. We got the goods, boys. Let's hit the water. It's pretty fishing day on Louisville. Cole's first time dropping a boat in. Let's see how it goes. Oh. Perfect. S smooth on out of there and go put in that parking spot. Dude, he almost hit that other boat. Oh, shit. <laughs> Dude, it's been like 12 minutes. Where are you at? See, he's trying to get it parked, but it's weird with the trailer. <laughs> Dude, like a glove. Yeah, that's flawless. He had us worried out here, man. All right, let's lock her up and wheel on these two. I want to fish today. <laughs> Y'all trying to look like pros. Be careful on that, just nice and smooth. Check your hook after that one, Blaine. I don't know if you've looked at it in a minute. Make sure it's still in the plastic so you don't get snagged as easy. All right, I got it. Hey, I'm gonna fish these real quick. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> They're leaving me stranded on the island of tires. You're leaving your captain, bro. There we go. The best likelihood is gonna be up along these. So it's just kind of a matter of like, maybe they're further back there or... My bait's not chattering. Uh, your rod tip needs to be at a 45 and your line might be wrapped around the blade. There's a couple of... Oh! He is chattering, boy! That's a good one too! That's a freaking giant! Hey, hey, get him in here! Oh my God! Holy oh my God, bro! God. That's your PB! God. That is huge! Game day's tomorrow, God. dude! Bump us out, bro. Dude, this thing is nuts. Did you get that on video? Well, my GoPro just acted up, but yeah, I should have. This one was recording Jeez. too, okay? So hold up. We're gonna wait and get some pictures here in just a second. Let's put it in the water, though, okay? <laughs> kind of gathering our bearings here. We didn't even have the net out. We're really just getting started. We kind of practiced flipping into the tires because we wanted the technique dialed in more than anything. We gotta get Cole one next, so game time. We're kind of just casting these chatter baits along the uh, marina. Hey, watch the overhand cast. When you get in a situation like this, you might have to hit the side cast, okay? Um, and if you don't feel like you've got it good enough, this is when we work on them. <laughs> this is where you want to be right here. Like, you want to be up in it because that's where they're hanging out, dude. Okay, I'm going to check your drag in a second. For a chatterbait, it's just the one big single hook, so you want it pretty tight. Just maybe not locked on this one. Close to you can to the shade and the boats and all that good stuff. And keep working us forwards. Keep hitting new water. And look, if it's easier, you can just come to the back of the boat real quick. And, you know, you can hit, you can hit one swing. You know what I'm saying? Here you go. Fish that. So in this, you might not always be able to keep the rod tip right where you need it, right? So just kind of like work the rod tip as we go by it to keep it in line with the dock. Like certain rules don't really apply when you're like in a unique scenario, right? Y'all are fishing tomorrow in the tournament or no? Awesome. Good luck to you guys. One thing I'm noticing too, you keep your thumb on the spool release, that could be dangerous because if one pulls you, hold up, Blaine. So if one pulls you, you're going to hit that release and it's not going to get hooked it's just going to be open and it's just going to take it you won't hook it so what i like to do is have my thumb over here so it might be easier with your second finger pass instead of your first because with your first you don't really have much room to do that but so like i you know my thumb starts on it and then after i flip it you'll see i i thumb it and then when i close the spool i literally just had did you see that there you go sir yep even while that spool's open y'all keep a good grip on it because they might you you might get a bite as soon as it hits the water all right, I get a cast for that. He's on? Are you sure you have one? Yeah, he's on. I'm on my way. Let me see the net. Oh Let's go. There's no way. Where's he at, dude? Oh! Dude, this thing is giant. Hey, oh, uh, loosen the drag a little bit. Yeah, yeah, close it, close it, close it. Loosen, loosen the drag just a little bit by pulling, here. Oh my God. Oh, it's another good one. Open the spool, open the spool, open the spool. You'll break the rod. Nice, dude. Get back on the boat without your life vest. What are you thinking? <laughs> yeah. Another one in the tires, baby. Come on, let's go. This is crazy. Ish. I just cast into a uh, one of those tires around there. Honestly, I thought I was stuck on something because it was not pulling at all. Then I got over there, started dragging. Like the rod, the rod tip was underwater. Cole, it's your turn, bro. Yeah, I know, dude. Get that T rig back in there. Y'all yeah. want to both fish off the front and me fish off the back, or are you more comfortable back there at the moment, Blaine? I'll fish off. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll pick up y'all's slack if you leave anything behind. Nice. On, oh! I'm just fishing off the back of the boat here. We're all rocking chatterbaits trying to see if we can get us a bite. And uh, Cole had his first one on. 
hey if you don't feel like you got a good like hook set like a strong bash into them then just try and set it again like just kind of like hit them again okay good stuff though they're here ooh, 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 ooh. got him. my first one there we go it's all good it's all good we'll, we'll just we'll just pop them up here <laughs> that's not the safe practice for tournament day but hey captain smith on the back of the boat <laughs> oh, speaking of look who else caught some look who else caught something on the chatterbait <laughs> blaine's got his third catch it's a rope <laughs> there we go all right who wants the front oh you just cast it off dang that's because you didn't check your line after that oh snap chatterbait number two it would have been an even bigger lesson learned if you caught a fish afterwards and we would have known that's why it was too depending on how the line feels maybe cut off an extra like six inches to a foot instead of just tying it right there i would probably do that you can feed it through the eyelets first if you want and then cut it all right blank come hit this stuff with me then you got like a minute 30 advantage you say got one? no i just got a good skip under the thing oh right. fish, no way. fish, no way. fish, fish. Right. little dude little got him I think this would be a keeper tomorrow. I mean, that could be. It's 12 though. All right, doesn't go for 14 though. So uh, we're gonna just drop him back in the water. We'll see you, bud. There's a good open one coming. Tail, your tail, my bad. It was like caught on the hook. I think it might still be. Whip it a little bit, get that. Yeah, you feel the flutter? Oh. You see him? Oh my God. Yeah, it was a little one. It was a little one. Hey yeah. Okay, Look, he got my tail. I'm just going to hit a rebate. Yeah, oh, Nine. fudge. He's here, bro. He won't hit it three times. There's a couple in here. Now I don't even have the trailer. That time he took it. It's up to y'all. Do y'all want to wanna call it after you lost that chatter? I mean, we kind of got an idea. We know what we're doing. The one thing we could do is if we get a bite here, then we'll at least have a little confidence for tomorrow. Like, okay, maybe we should make a run over here. Otherwise, I have like those other marinas that I plan on us hitting. Let me uh, let me fish to the end of this and y'all decide. Cast in here, Cole. Keep fishing this with me because it's not going to be too good back there, I don't think. Where do you need to be to get the best cast? In front of me or no? Probably in front of you. All right, yeah. There it is, nice. Right up by the boat, dude. That was the best thing ever. Got him. Yep. Uh, not long after a hit. This is only technically our fourth one, isn't it? Another one out the marina in the shade, y'all. That's good. We know there's fish here too. Fish, fish, giant. Don't forget to subscribe. Got him. Another one? Yep. We're, we're hooked up. Y'all no. just, just gotta work on them casts, because I'm telling you, yeah. it's just getting back there. The back of the boat might be the best place to work on the cast. Got one? Nice. Nice. Blaine's on with another one. Golly. That's a solid one, dude. It was like right here. Like he just swiped at it. Like I, it was, ugh. Oh, Annoying. Oh, got him. Did you see that flip in there? <laughs> that was sick. Oh, that was sick, dude. Honestly, guys, we're just tired of catching all the fish back here. Uh, we're going to give it a break until tomorrow. Here we go. Kick it. Three, two. That's a three and a quarter. Three and a quarter, dude. Oh, five, five. Bro, five, five, and five. And pounds. Five, five. Let's oh. go. Congrats on the new PB. Let's put this thing back in the water. All right, y'all, just closing out the nice day of pre-fishing. Um, mainly today, we just focused on all the marinas and tires, and it um, uh, seems pretty promising. So anyways, we'll catch y'all tomorrow at Lines In. Just checking with y'all, 30 minutes for Lines In. You know, partner Blaine's over here asleep right now. Uh, we're in an area where we have a lot of confidence, caught a lot of fish yesterday. Um, it's supposed to be really sketchy and dangerous out here. Wind's supposed to pick up, and um, I've heard it's supposed to get a three-foot wave. So basic rules, lines in are at 7, lines out at 3 p.m. for the weigh-in, and every bass caught has to be over 14 inches. Hey, Blaine, did you hear all that? 20 minutes, bro. All right. Be ready. <laughs> We'd like to thank all of our sponsors. <laughs> 7 a.m., y'all go ahead. 
Saving that clip. <laughs> oh, that's going. <laughs> All right, fishing has commenced. We got about 10 boats right here. You guys are getting to work. This is your captain speaking. Keep us back. Bump it, bump it straight towards us. Turn it heel side as much as it'll go. They would have maybe hit that popper first cast, so. 7-10. Update. No fish in the boat yet, but we did I'm lose the A-rig. Hey, you can't, I don't think you can be off the boat. I'm stuck on it. Our, so our day starts by losing the A-rig, y'all. Five swim baits, five jig heads, big old rig. That was gonna be our big fish getter if we got five in the boat early. I got it. We're gonna go for a hunt with that thing, but now we're gonna tie on some big glides probably, so. You see that? Send it down there. Oh my gosh, fish right along the dock blowing up. Get him in here, get him in here. That's not 14. First fish of the day, y'all. Chatterbait. First one today, he's not going to 14, so he's not a keeper, unfortunately. But we're just gonna let this little guy back in the water. Good news is, though, they are hitting the chatterbait, so hopefully we get some bigger ones later on. If you ever feel like y'all brush up against anything, remember to be checking your line, because we only got so many of those chatterbaits. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to try and go past it. Well, do you know what you bumped into or no? Oh my gosh. Not good. Mm -hmm. Hey, so look in this situation, cause I don't wanna damage the motor. I'm gonna lift it up, okay? It's gonna be a little loud, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Okay guys, here you go. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, did you just break it off? Yeah, you just broke off his chatterbait. Blaine Moore just broke off my chatterbait on a cast. Y'all gotta be careful. There goes one out of four. What happened is you got like extremely unlucky with like a one out of 50 chance because his the barb of his hook like got caught on it and just cut it. That was very unlikely to happen. <laughs> you just got screwed. <laughs> Ooh, okay, get on the other side of Cole. Lift that rod tip. Yep, exactly. Blaine, hit the motor for a minute. Nice. Rod tip out to the right of the boat. Yeah. Be ready. Yeah. Got one. Nice. Oh, nice. Oh, oh no. Damn. I don't think he's going to go 14. Get him over the boat, though. And this is called high sticking. So just be careful when you do that because um, you'll snap a rod easily. What was that? The crank? Yeah. Okay. Let's confirm that it's not 14. Hey, hit the spot lock so we're not drifting away from the spot. Here you go, Cole. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if you got it, you got it. Yeah, that's not bad. Let's confirm he's not 14 inches, but I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so he needs to go all the way to here from the from the nose. So he's a little shy. So I think he's going back in the water. <laughs> 11 check it in. Just got my first catch. So if you do get one while I'm gone, just like stop the recording. All right. Me and Blaine are kind of doing the thing. Um, when he's gone, we're probably gonna catch like an eight pounder or something light. Pretty stacked on snacks, so that's cool. Yeah, make sure we get the net with these baits on. Oh, got one. Oh, oh, oh. No! 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 no. <laughs> Those are big! Damn, you're in, dude. Check your line, check everything. Oh, check Weston! We just lost a seven! That was the second one you lost. That thing was a pig. That one's bigger than yesterday. They keep coming off. Uh, this. I mean, that thing was a monster. Yeah, this thing is working though, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me know what you think about this. Oh. Dude, cause it is, it's yeah. hidden. Could you look at the recording right now? Or would you have uh, to go look later? I, I'm sure you did nothing wrong. Like I'm oh like I'm sure God. you did nothing wrong. That thing was a giant. Like bigger than the, the five. It was like the same length probably, but fat. It was right here. Dude, it was giant. He almost had it in the net. Oh, oh, go, go, go. Oh my I got it. Goodness. Dude. He came up out of you nowhere. Get one more line out. That's how you break a rod. Yeah. It's not going too well. We're catching all these little ones. We're getting the quantity, but we're not getting the quality. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's already 8:30. Hasn't been too long, but we got a lot more time. So let's see what we can do. Oh, it was a carp. It was a carp. That was a carp. Oh my god. I'll try here. 
got him. What's wrong with his bait? It's just twisted around the hook. You need to, un you need to take the tail and go over the hook one time. You might even switch to a saucy swimmer when we get to the next spot. You see it? I am getting air done. Yep. Oh no! Nice. Nice. Fish? Ah! Fish? I stepped on a freaking hook. I was gonna say it wasn't shaking its head. This is I stepped on a hook. I stepped on a hook. Wait. Mm. Is it in your foot? Yeah. It's in my toe. It's in your toe? It's in my toe. Um, I don't know how to. It's in your foot? <laughs> it's in my toe. <laughs> it's in my toe. Oh, I don't know the best way of getting it oh. out. Oh! Yeah. Um, yeah, that's a I think the barb is in there. You think the barb is in there? I'm not gonna lie. Come on. Come on. Nice. Fish? Ah! Is it, um, so what we need to do is... I can't get at this one. Don't know. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. One minute, 42 seconds, and we'll know how to remove it. Dude, and I just got a hook in my hand. This is not what you want right here. I got a hook in my hand, and it's a big hook, so uh, you need to jerk it out. No. Uh, that would be pretty bad. That might be bad. Don't tell me. Just do it. Yeah, slick as a whistle. Oh, <laughs> All right, three to four knots on the bend of the hook. No way. There's no way. What's the other way I can do this? Is that it? It's the braid trick. This is what people do. We're going to have to watch another example. No way we can get that out. How to remove a fish hook quick and easy. Let's let that this is a tournament. Out. This is what happened to him. I'm going to get this one loose, which is barely. Now, I'm going to show you a good way right here to get this hook out. That's one reason why. It's like underneath the sock, so I might make it a little harder to perform this task. What I'm going to do is hold this down like this. And on the count of three, we're gonna jerk it out. One, two, and that's it. What do you mean, bro? I mean, wrap it around about 12 times and then just one, two, three, go. He wraps it around the bottom part, I think. Keep that down so the barb is somewhat straight. Okay. I don't care what it feels like coming out. I want it out. Go. Didn't hurt not one bit. Didn't hurt not one bit? All right. I heard it first on YouTube. I'm gonna have to take this. I'm gonna have to take this treble hook off the split ring so this might okay. apparently the first step is to remove the split ring the youtube video we just mm. watched the guy said it was painless on the way out it hurts we've let the pain come back at this point it's been in there for a moment this is probably the hardest part right here the whole situation come on pliers <gasps> ah. um, oh. well these are split ring pliers but they're oh. acting up here i need to turn the boat on and get us don't in you there. have another pair right here yeah i do yeah i do a newer pair, maybe a little bit more pointy. Yeah, right. Gosh! In the foot, bro. <laughs> <laughs> In between my toe and my foot. <laughs> you, lost, you lost the big fish. <laughs> no! No! no. Oh. Dude, this is such an unfortunate day for me. For <laughs> this, has been, this has been pretty bad. Oh, that yep. one hit me right there. It's, yeah. Hold on. I think I'm just... Let me go this way. Got it. Yep. Yep. It's gonna. It's gonna take a second. Okay. Hold up. Hold up. Yep. 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 Uh, yep. Yep. I. I. I got a bad entry point. Ah. It's. I can't do anything about it. I gotta get the split ring out. Oh my god! It hurts. Oh my god. I have to get this split ring off of here. Oh, we're looking good. Hold on. Almost there, boy. Yeah. This is. Oh my god. Yeah, it's not good. I didn't think it was as bad as it was when I first stepped on it, but dude, this You hurts. didn't even react when you stepped on it, dude. You didn't even react. No, I didn't feel it. Ow. Yep. Now we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. All right. Give me a second. Okay. All right, I got the split ring open. I'm just working it around. It's going to take a second. Oh. I can't do anything about it. Hold on. Oh my god. I know. Oh my god. All right, all right, all right. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm getting there, dude. We're almost there. I'm probably three quarters. <laughs> ah! 
Oh, no, I think it went like an inch deeper. That no, it didn't. Time. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. Dude, we're like inches away. Okay, hold that hook. Wait. Did he get it? Wait. It was not. Uh, it wasn't even in your foot, bro! Yes, it, it wasn't even in your foot! It, was. it wasn't even in your foot! I swear it was. This I man's a liar! I swear it wasn't even in your foot! Where do you it wasn't. No. That hurt so bad. I swear to God, it was my foot. Look, look. It's past look, the barb, he said. Look, it was right there. Uh, it's. That's barely. No, no. It's you don't past even know. the bar. I don't, don't want to hear it. Dude, That's I was baby. so nervous. <sighs> That's not going on YouTube. Yes, yes, it is. Now it's funny. It was not funny moments ago. That was one of the scariest things. Like, <laughs> I was still nervous to even have to get the braid out, loop it around, and pull this out. I was contemplating making Cole do it. <laughs> Oh but, my God. and we couldn't see that it wasn't past the bar because it was under a sock. Maybe a smart move was to look for something like that it. and cut it off. You're, you're fine. Dude, dude. I'm telling you, you're, <laughs> you're fine. Maybe it, put some shoes on. Maybe hurts. put your flip flops back oh, on. I, those are his. You know how many treble hooks we have on deck right now? <laughs> the best part is he tried to blame Cole. Cause, <laughs> yeah, Cause he's like, well, if you didn't get snagged and I thought you were on with a fish, I wouldn't have ran to grab the net and stepped on a hook and got it past the barb in my toe. I thought I had a big one as soon as I set the hook on whatever it got stuck on. We really do gotta get to work. Now there's three hours to weigh in. I'm just relieved. Jeez. After this, we gotta catch a fish though. That's true. All right, we're making a move. Good part about this is that we have nowhere to go but up. <laughs> the other teams are probably stressing with five in the boat, like man, like somebody else is gonna catch us, somebody else is gonna catch us. We have the opportunity to catch up, but it's not going to be right here. So let's find a new spot and get to fishing. It's a fish. It's a fish. Oh, that's all right. Yeah, they're just down there hey, in the bottom. Get the net, get the net, get the net. I got you. Wait. I got it, I got it. Yeah. Just got to open this pool. That's how you break a rod, remember. Nice work. Good stuff, y'all. Uh, we got hours to spare, too. Okay. Well, we're not going over today. Our first fish of the day. First keeper of the day, using the bandito bug off the bottom. We're going to put it in the well and keep on working. Three hours later. Oh. Oh. Yep. Set the hook. What is that? Oh that might be good for a pound and a half. That's 14 inches. Hey, That's a that keeper. <laughs> we are on it today. All right, y'all. 256. We got four minutes left. Wait, no. Go on, next. Nice. No. Yeah. No. It wasn't a keeper. It's three, y'all. Let's go load up. If I could have got that eight pounder, bro. Oh, yeah, that would have been. That made me so that, mad. That would have been. But 137 is going to be up next, bringing in five fish. Banks and Brock from Aubrey. 1323, gonna slide y'all into second place, guys. Boat number seven is up next, bringing in one fish. It'll be Blaine and Cole from Aubrey. They've got 310, 310, good fish. All right, everybody, and with that weigh-in of one keeper, that wraps up our second of five bass fishing tournaments with the Texas high schoolers. You gotta give it up for Blaine and Cole. Despite not having the best day, tournament day, they let go of a big no! one. That was a big! We caught some numbers, but of course they were unders. And uh, we just got unlucky. I think we missed that moving bite early. And as it transitioned to later in the day, seeing a lot of other folks do the same thing we did. We saw those rod tips in the air and everyone slow dragging those baits. And that's how we caught our one uh, good three plus pounder. It just wasn't enough to get the job done, okay? And I'm gonna make Blaine and Cole do the outro on the next video, so y'all subscribe for those guys. Uh, I want them to give their opinion, I want them to give their feedback on the day, rather than myself who's just driving the boat, right? I'm just the captain behind the scenes over here on these videos. So, we've got a few more coming your way. The next one is on Ray Roberts, okay? Get ready for that one. Probably gonna take a big bag to win it. Then we've got Ray Hubbard, and finally we're concluding with one more on Lake Texoma. That is gonna be next year, so you got a lot to look forward to. Congratulations to Blaine on his new five and a half pound personal best. That was absolutely epic if only we could have caught it the day of, but you know how it goes. We actually talked to a few teams who said they had a better day pre-fishing 
and they just were on that pattern. They were on the docks, they were hitting the moving bites you couldn't miss, and then the day of, of course, you had to slow things down a little bit, and that's how it goes sometimes, folks. But we had a lot of areas of confidence. We actually ran to multiple different areas across Lake Louisville, and we had a great time doing it. So I'm gonna leave you with that. We'll catch you on the next one. Until then, peace out.